Hi guys and happy Wednesday. We are halfway through the week and we are also starting the cover to the journal, the steampunk journal. Now I'm kind of off course in my story of my life, but I wanted to say I'm sitting at lunchtime today thinking, what could I do that's different? You know, what could I do that's wild? So I came up with it. Let's get started. So I figure we can make, well, hopefully, ouch, I hit my knee guys, sorry. I'm hoping we can get through this part of it tonight. Um, the, the, the initial stage. What I have to do is mark this to, I'm going to go a half inch. So this is how deep it's going to be. And I'll show you what I'm up to. This, I hope, is going to work out. Well, I went too far on that one. So it'll go right here. This side's, I hope I'm in focus, guys. This side's a little bent. And y'all have to realize that I um, am actually a miniaturist at heart. And I do love, seriously love junk journaling. But what I think is amazing is the fact that these two worlds I have found collide pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to cut this down the side. And I got one more thing to do here. And I have an embossing thingy, um, scoring thingy. I don't even know the terms, guys, but I don't know how easy it is to be A, gotten to, and B, used. So I think I'm just going to kind of wing it here. I wish I knew if you guys could see. Okay, so this is the gist of it. That piece came undone. <clears throat> And I'm going to paint this black, the inside, just so you know. And I bet you are wondering, what in the world is this crazy lady up to? And I think, just for the sake of not having to repeat that, and this won't be seen, so I don't mind if it has those extras. I'm going to go ahead and reinforce all of this. Well, not all of this, but these sides. Because they're going to be important. Okay. So then, whoops, I missed a corner. <clears throat> and I got my double-sided tape. Um, this came from Lissa. From Faithful Lissa. She sent it to me in a happy mail. And I have some other stuff that I'm going to be sending her soon. I just got to wait for the weekend when I have my free five minutes. And then tonight I also have to do some, <clears throat> some scanning. And emailing. But I will get there. This is all okay. So I'm alright if this doesn't exactly make a perfect square. And you'll see why. So what I'm going to do next. And i got to figure out where on here I want it. And I think in terms of when I open a book. So I think... I'm going to put it, I think I want to put it right there. I want it kind of straight. I 
and then we'll be saving that piece. So, like I said, though, I want it semi straight. I think that might be a little too close to the edge. Yeah. We are totally winging this, guys. And I want it a little slightly smaller, but if I don't get it smaller, if it comes out a little larger, that's okay too, because these are going to fit over those edges. So you'll see where I'm going with this here in just a minute. Now I'm going to pause the camera and magically cut this out, and I'll be right back. Alrighty then, so I got it cut out, and it does stick out the bottom, but that's okay because this bottom's gonna have a cover. So this will be the top part, and this will be covered. So the top part of the book will be semi-hollow, but this is gonna hold cogs and trinkets, um, maybe a little rolled up map. So let me get this, I'm gonna use the double-sided tape that Lissa sent me and I put it under the edges of this and push it down. So I'll be right back. Okay, I had not anticipated that giving me any issues, but it did. Um, so I had to go ahead and put masking tape as well. Now, this will have a door. It won't be this door. But this will have a door and a latch system. And actually, I may have the door on the opposite side because the hinges will fit here better. But you will open this up. And inside here will be trinkets. Now, our next step is to secure this back side. And at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the, um, you see, I have to get this. I have to get these edges. Um, card, you know, put a cardboard in there. Which I don't think it's going to be that difficult. I just have to, I think it's going to be a half inch. To be honest with you. Mm, closer to three quarters of an inch. So, I'm going to cut my pieces now. I'm not going to use the same cardboard because it wouldn't go through my Cricut. So I'm going to cut the... Um, I'm going to cut this out, the uh, bottom piece, or the the supports that go around the edge and the supports that go along the side. I'm going to cut them with my Cricut. Now, I am, as I was saying before I cut us off, I am going to stop right here and go ahead and get this um, cut out on my Cricut and start the next phase, which is getting the paper towel. So we can, and I might actually paper mache it so that those it, it's real smooth and then we can put the fabric because I do have the fabric for it and whatnot so this again is going to have a door that opens and if I can find the lids to these um, these were this was a box that came from my dollhouse stuff it had little wicker chairs in it so if I'm fortunate enough to find that you'll see it and it will be the door and it should be big enough to hinge and whatnot. Now, I will tell you, if you're not familiar with the miniatures world, I'm going to follow a hinging technique that Ava Bentley taught me. So the hinges will be really cool. They'll be steampunky. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint. Well, we're going to paper mache and put fabric on here too. So it's a process, guys. Okay. Hang in there. We're going to get this done.